you can't go up it so far. And that's going to square up on this machine, wouldn't it? Yep. It's going to be in the center, which ain't no problem. Good to go. We rented this trencher, and I don't think it's ever been used, quite frankly. <laughs> you can see where it's been sitting on the ground a little bit. That's about it. All you need to do now is that top button. Which one's regular flow? Well, regular flow is when this isn't on. If you want to go high flow, you'd have to turn your auxiliary off and flow. then put your high flow. But if you just want regular flow. We want to split when we're running that rotor cutter. Well, all you got to do is press that button right there. What do you run when you run the motor? High flow. Because it. How do you turn it off? Is this a high flow machine? Well, right now, you just press auxiliary. Well, number one, do this. Do that. That's high flow. Exactly. Don't want high flow. Okay, so if you don't want high flow, you just turn it off. Just... Hang on, you gotta, it's still in park. Which button is it? It's, the, it's this one, right here. What's this one? The bottom one's your rabbit mode. go what's up guys Lance when he cuts brush what you see behind me right here is my brother's barn he's been building a uh, dream he is to get done and it's finally gotten to a point where he can get it about where he wants it what our plan is today is to take this machine right here which is a trencher we're going to trench him some water which starts about right there in the road we're going to trench it all the way back to about to where my truck is all the way to the back side of the barn the the reason why we're trenching is because when you connect to a house there's a meter on there that gives you less i guess gallons per minute is what we would call it so instead of getting about four gallons per minute if we connect to the house we run it straight from here we'll get about eight gallons to, per minute coming straight from the hose we'll just get a turnoff valve up there but that's our plan today uh, there's not a whole lot going on other than just this trencher working so we're going to film that get this thing going and get this barn some water. But anyways, guys, if you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Helps me out a lot. Uh, leave a comment down below if you wanna do so um, on what we can do better with the trencher. I don't think this trencher has been used. Still got some of that stuff that hardens the tips, but I really don't think this trencher has been used at all. I mean, the paint looks <laughs> darn near perfect. This will be the first time this trencher has been used. I think it, they charge us about $115 a day to, to rent this thing out. So if you're looking for a trencher, go down to Sunbelt and grab you one for about $115 a day and maybe cheaper in other areas. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to jump right into it and let you guys see how this thing works. See you in a little bit.
crawl, Bobby. No. I think it's dug about the same depth here. Yeah, it needs to be a little deeper. Yeah. Turn your head down. Correct. I'll just use this as my marker. Put you a board right over there. That's my marker. You gonna go straight? 
90 degrees after that, so I just turn it to the right. Hey, don't, don't come up in here, I'll do this. Okay. Uh, get in the second chain lines, I won't be the one to do it. Yeah, that's fine. I feel more comfortable that way anyway. And then I'm just going to bring it right behind the building. That can tie into water, can tie in somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I'll, then I'll just rub a hand trench to here and put a spigot right there. That way I can water the garden. The kids want to play. I can run a hose. Mm -hmm. and then they can run the water into the building. You know how easy you are with it. You could probably run your own little thing what? with that instead of having the hand trench it yourself. Yeah, I'm going to leave it the building. Yeah. If you finish it there, I'll get the rest. All right. He wanted it at 20 inches. Let's see if we got it at 20 inches. A lot of play in that right there. But if you can see, maybe you can see that 20 inches, 20 inches is right there. Perfect. Now, I don't know what somebody would charge for something like this to do a job but if you've got the machinery just rent the thing rent it and run it figure it out i didn't put the straightest line and let's just be honest let's just look at it that right there is not the straightest line as you can tell but for my first time ever doing it i'll take it now whether that's going to be something that needs to be fixed in the long run who knows i'm not a plumber but that right there saves you a lot of time. And an excavator would just make a lot more of a mess. We can just take that skid steer once he's got the pipe in, push it right on in there, no problems. But I told, just like you saw in the video, my brother was like, he's going, I'm not going to be the one that's at fault for if I, if I clip a line going towards the barn. But today we got it done. Probably going to do a little bit more with this. We got a future barn build coming up down there. We're going to do a hundred foot pole barn. Uh, Kurt and I are just going to build it ourselves. It's just be cheaper and uh, maybe hire some guys out to do the tin and whatnot. But for right now, that's what our plan is going to be. So stay tuned for that, guys. It's going to be a good one this summer. Anyways, I'm going to uh, finish it up here. We'll have more to come later. Hope you enjoy. Guys, hope you have a great rest of the day. Hope you have a good weekend coming up. You know, we always post these on Thursdays. Hopefully, I can get to a point where I'm posting them more than just on Thursdays. Till the end, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Lance Winnie Coast Brush, out.